Hello everyone, I am back today with another video, and this is going to be a ranked game on um, the website Strategis, and today we're going to be playing against Vertigo. Um, he doesn't exactly have the best stats, uh, 15 wins, 27 losses, and as you can see their elo of 160. Um, but he's on a bit of a winning streak, and I believe I've only played him one time before, and that resulted in a win for me. So hopefully uh, this game will go just the same then. Alright, so he's going to advance in the center. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and advance in the center as well. That is where I planned to advance with this setup. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take that just to scout. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take the piece that lies behind it, and that will be a trade. Alright, so uh, nothing... Nothing too much going on there yet. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and bring out a scout. Uh, just kind of test the water, see if there's anything that I can discover. Okay, so major there. That means I'm going to scout the piece behind it, which is general. That was, um, that was a pretty lucrative two scouts right there to discover the major and the general. Now, this would have kind of made sense uh, to be the spy, um, but since he moved it out, either he's being very risky or it's not the spy, so I don't think that's the spy. Um, but we do have the general and the major here. That means I should prob I could probably lotto blitz him a bit with my uh, colonel, simply because I know the general that came from the left side here. He seems to be advancing on the right side, which denotes maybe the marshal is there. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to hit it from behind the lake. Okay, trade. All right, I'm going to take this one as well. And Colonel, interesting. So I definitely have info galore on him right now. Let's pressure him like that and see what he does. He'll probably retreat. Yep. Let's see if I can maybe uh, find any info or maybe um, be able to have him hit my scout or something like that. That would be nice. But no, he's going to move that there. So that's kind of reinforcing my idea that the marshal's over here because we know that the uh, major's here. I'm actually just going to leave that there. I don't really care what he does. Okay, that's fine. So we know the general here. Major and Colonel. I'm going to go ahead and just lotto this. Or not lotto because it's moved. And there's the Captain. I lost to his Colonel here. And a trade. Very good. So that's really good for me actually because now I know his General, Major, and Colonel. Okay, I'm going to come over with my Lieutenant to intercept this piece. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a Major or anything like that. And I also don't think it's going to be his last Captain. And I don't want him to discover my General cheaply so I need to have that Lieutenant there to stop any of that. All right, see what he's got there. So we know general and we know major. I'm going to scout that. Sergeant, so not much to be discovered there. Okay, that's fine. So we know colonel, we know major, and we know that the general is right here. So we have these three. Uh, info. So I'm not sure to ex how to exploit this exactly. I'm going to keep my major here. Because, I mean, neither of these are going to be as martial. That wouldn't make much sense. I'm going to go ahead and just bring out this lieutenant. Okay, that's about expected. Yeah, so he's going to chase me with his major. I'm going to try to be annoying. Uh, and I'm going to come up with my own major. Okay, so this is the gen. This is the colonel. This is his major. I should be able to net a sergeant here because I was able to threaten that, making him move it away, and... Allowing me to get the advantage here with this piece. Uh, 
Alright, so I'll trade that, having gotten a sergeant and the lead. And this is probably a scout, but I'll take it anyway. Oh, sergeant, even better. So this piece I'm kind of expecting to be the marshal almost. I know this is a garbage piece, so I'll hit that with my major if he moves it in between the two. And of course this is his general. Let's do that, just see what he has. Okay, easy enough, just a quick pick up there. Okay, of course I'll take that. Uh, Lieutenant, he might take it, if that's the marshal, and he does. So it's a bit interesting uh, that he's willing to risk that, although maybe he is kind of forced to at this stage in the game when he's down four other pieces. But I did suspect that as the marshal. Um, so I have complete info on him now, really. I know his colonel, and I know his general, and I know his marshal. I'm going to threaten this piece. See if I can get another cheap pickup, maybe of a scout. Perfect. So, General, Colonel, Marshal. Uh, when he comes down with this piece, I'm going to hit it with my sergeant, um, if that's what he decides to do there. Let's come down like this. Uh, that could be a minor, so obviously I'm going to want to hit that. Captain there, interesting. Okay, as I suspected, that was a minor. That was a good uh, capture there. I'm suspecting this is the spy. He'll probably move it up and just guard his general that way. Wow, he's actually going to leave that there. Okay, so I'm going to retreat my general. Pretend like maybe this is a bluff that he uh, got right of mine. Okay, I'm going to move the marshal over here. So I'm not really sure what he's trying to do at this stage in the game. Of course, he has the marshal that's been pressuring the center. I'm going to do this. He'll take the sergeant, I'm assuming. Maybe he'll retreat, which wouldn't be that bad.
So I know this is his captain. I would absolutely be willing to take that with my general if he uh, allowed me to. Okay, excellent, so now I'm up, um, I guess that would be one, five pieces, no, six pieces, I'm up six pieces to his, uh, one major, so this is certainly looking, um, pretty good for me at this stage, he's also had to reveal his last scout, and we'll obviously not get this lieutenant, so he discovered my colonel, but I'm fine with that. Alright, so trade there, and I'm not sure what to think about this piece, um, but I imagine we will be trading majors one way or another here. Okay, perfect. So, one more major is left for him. I'm wondering if I can try to bluff the spy as my marshal. And then that way I would just put it right there to prevent... Uh, him from being able to take those pieces. Okay, that works fine for me. I'll go ahead and advance with a lieutenant of mine on the flank. I'm assuming he'll come down exploring with some peace. My captain here is buried in the corner, uh, pretty safe and sound there. And he's actually going to call that, that's pretty interesting. Uh, if he moves in like this, I'm going to move the lieutenant over. I'm surprised he called that. That's a pretty, uh, pretty risky call. Alright, so just in case, I'm going to have my marshal uh, kind of more present towards the center, uh, in the off chance that he gets the, uh, he decides he wants to be risky again and call bluffs like that. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to bring up a miner just maybe to pressure him. That's probably a lieutenant. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll trade. I think my marshal and spy are both really obvious at this point, so it doesn't really do me much good to, you know, keep bluffing stuff like that. Okay, that works. Well, that's even better. Okay. Now he's not up anything at all, uh, just simply down a captain. So I'm surprised he did that. That probably wasn't the best play, just to give me this major like that. I guess the only reason he would have done that is he thought these were both... These were both pieces trying to be spies, and maybe this was the marshal. Okay, that's fine. He's not going to get anything done on this side, of course, with my lieutenant and captain there.
Wow, uh, I'm surprised he did that. I would think he would come down with a minor instead of just charging in uh, with a lieutenant. Okay, well, I'll just let that be and trade miners there. I don't think he'll lotto that sergeant. He might lotto the piece behind it, though. In which case, I would let him, and then I would collect my lieutenant with the captain. Interesting, okay. So that was easy. Um, let me come out with this sergeant. Maybe he'll believe this, because he's got to believe something. I mean, it's pretty clear now that <laughs> that's not my captain. He didn't believe the sergeant I had here was the captain, maybe because he thought this was it. So I guess I'll bluff this one. I'm actually going to be annoying. I'm going to avoid this trade. Uh, I'd prefer to trade for his unknown lieutenant, so I can kind of keep track of all of his pieces. Okay, I guess we'll just leave it at that. I do realize that trading does um, force him to like move another piece, like reveal more of his setup. Um, but this is either a minor or a lieutenant, I think. I'll just put my lieutenant there, and I'm fine trading that. That's his unknown piece, of course. Okay. I'm fine with trading that now. He's going to have to move one of these, or... Okay, that's easy. Go ahead and collect my sergeant there. I'm not sure why he would do that, because, I mean, logic would tell you this is my captain, this is my lieutenant. Yeah, so this is definitely a one game. Um, I no longer have quite as hefty of leads as I did on some of the, um, you know, sergeant minor piece categories uh, and lieutenants that I did earlier, but I have, I'm up a captain and I'm still up many of those other pieces, so. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to let that be. I have a feeling this is his lieutenant, and this is uh, a sergeant or lieutenant. This could be a minor, though. I'm going to come up with my captain and hit it just because. I think that's a sergeant. That makes sense, at least. But open flag is pretty interesting. Minor, as I figured. Easy pick up there. Um, I guess I'm going to test this with my sergeant just to see if it is lieutenant or not. Okay, that's fine.
trade that. And that's a one game. So just kind of taking it slow and easy in the end game. Nothing too much exciting happening the second half of the game. It's just really about wrapping up the win without doing anything dumb or crazy. Um, but pretty solid win overall. Uh, really, I was able to convert a slight material disadvantage to an advantage based on all the info I had on him. And that translated to a win eventually in the end after we'd played it all out. So pretty happy with that. Uh, and with that, I'll say good game to Vertigo, and I'll see you guys in the next video.